Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Ramadan Reminders by Sapiens Institute. As we read from Surah Ar Rahman in the Quran, we are, of course, reminded of the fact that we recite 31 times the same words, the same verse, in which Allah says, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, Fabi ayi ala irabbikuma tukadhiban. Then which of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? 31 times we're repeating that one verse again and again and again. Allah is therefore reminding us to be cognizant, to be aware of all the bounties of Allah in this life and the next life, all the reminders, to be alert to that, to be aware of the fact that we have to be always thankful to Allah. All the bounties of Allah, how would you not deny them? In that surah, Allah mentions some of them, in fact, we'll look at today. In which he says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, الشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرْ بِحُسْبَانِ That the sun and the moon are in a precise order. The sun and the moon are in precise calculation. And وَالنَّجْمُ وَالشَّجُرْ يَسْجُدَانِ And the stars and the trees are in prostration. وَالسَّمَاءَ رَفَعَهَا وَضَعَ الْمِيزَانِ And the heavens we have raised and appointed a scale, a balance. This year, it was quite amazing because you had this orbit of two important planets, Venus and Jupiter. And a lot of news stories, in fact, were about these planets, Ju Venus and Jupiter. And they said that in the constellation, in their orbit, they were so close together, as if they were kissing each other. The, the reality is they were actually quite far, 400 million miles apart, but it looked as if, naked eye, they were very close together. An amazing spectacle, an event, planets together. And here Allah is saying in the Quran that the, the sun and the moon are in a precise calculated orbit, precisely calculated their movements. And the moon and the, and the trees and the stars are in prostration and the heavens we have raised and appointed and made a scale or a balance. It's one thing, of course, looking at the spectacle around us and in the heavens and in the earth, skies, for example, and how the planets are like in a celestial dance, each in their own orbit. Amazing display. But there are, of course, things for us to reflect on as human beings, as Muslims. And the Quran, of course, is calling towards that, calling us to think deeply about the signs of Allah, about what we see in the heavens and the earth, about in ourselves, to think deeply about these things. And as we therefore look at Venus or Jupiter or any of the planets around us, there are of course signs in this. And Allah gave us these as reminders for us to bring us back to worshipping and knowing Him alone subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you take for example the fact that we're living here on earth, think about what sustains us in our living on earth in light of amazing things happening in the universe around us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala placed us on earth and made it so precise our position as a planet on earth for the survival of human beings on this planet, for life to exist on this planet. That if this planet was a bit close to the sun, we'd all incinerate, and if it was any further back, we'd all freeze to death. But Allah placed the planet exactly where it should be for life to survive on this planet. And as you think about Venus, Jupiter, in fact, is a, uh, is a, is a gas planet. And, and it serves an amazing purpose in terms of the Earth's survival because it has its own gravitational pull. It pulls back, pushes back against meteors and asteroids that could crash into the Earth. Allah, therefore, places Jupiter in its place to sustain our survival on Earth itself. So it's not useful only to look at a spectacle as in Venus or Jupiter close to one another without thinking deeply about what this really means in terms of us as human beings, our existence, our survival, God, all of these things are what the believer should really reflect on deeply. The fact that we have a positioning on the earth to, to maintain our survival. The fact that we have these gravitational pulls like from Jupiter and the moon as a particular axis that ensures our survival. If the moon was any further away or closer still, then you would have this uh, melting of the Earth's crust because of friction. But the moon is 
exactly a place where it's supposed to be, ensuring these land tides and ocean tides are, 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 are bearable for human survival. So think about that then. The gravitational pulls, think about the lunar tides, think about the position of the earth, where it is, and how Allah enables all these things for our survival on earth. Allah sustains us, Allah is the sustainer of all things, and allows us therefore to live. But Allah doesn't want it that we only simply live and admire these spectacles without thinking deeply what these things actually mean. Allah in the Quran says, indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth are signs, marvels, wonders for ulil alba, for people of depth and reflection. What makes it so powerful in fact is not just because they marvel at the world, but because they inculcate something in their inner selves that makes it more worthy for them, even when they reflect on the heaven and the earth. The next verse it says, They remember Allah standing and sitting and lying down and reflect deeply on heaven and the earth. They say, Our Lord, glory be to you. All this can't be in vain. Allah has made all of this purposeful. It can't be all in vain. And as we therefore think about these amazing spectacles in the night skies of Venus or Jupiter, whatever, it's supposed to make us closer to Allah. More mindful of the fact that none of this can be in vain. All of this is purposed. Purpose for our survival, purpose for our belief in Him alone, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and make us of those who are conscious of Him. And just like Allah describes the believers in the Quran who do the same thing, they reflect on heavens and the earth, but they remember Allah standing, sitting, lying down. The point is, never allow a single event in its temporary nature because the event will pass to stay where it is. Everything should be purposeful. And it's like Allah describes those who perform the pilgrimage for the Hajj. Uh, when rituals have come to an end and you've done the rituals and everything else, Allah says, remember Allah standing and sitting, lying down. Remember Allah like you would remember your fathers of the past. Remember Allah. When Salah comes to an end, remember Allah standing, sitting, lying down. Meaning, don't let the event itself in its temporary short nature be an end of it all. But remember Allah. You would have spectacle of Venus and Jupiter, but the event has ended. But remember Allah. At all times and moments, whatever you see in the world around you of this beauty, splendor, amazing, fascinating display of all things, signs from Allah, there should be a point of calling of us, all of us, to return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah make it true for all of us. Allahumma ameen.